Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. In this video, we go to analyze molecular geometry of PCL5 phosphorus pentachloride molecule based on PSEPR theory. The definite relative arrangement of the bonded atoms in a molecule is called geometry of the molecule, which also gives shape of the molecule. According to BSEPR theory, the geometry and shape of the molecule depends upon number of electron pairs may be bonded as well as non-bonded in the valence shell of the central atom. So to know very clearly about the molecular geometry of PCL5 molecule, first we should know the central atom. In PCL5 molecule, phosphorus is less electronegative when compared to high electronegative chlorine atom. So phosphorus will take the central atom position. Phosphorus atomic number 15. So we can write that electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. So 10, 15. There are 5 valence electrons are there in phosphorus. These 5 electrons make bond with 5 chlorine atoms in PCL5 molecules. Let us show that in Lewis dot structure for phosphorus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So looking at this structure, we may think that there are 3 bond pairs and 1 lone pair may be present in PCL5 molecule. But it does not happen because phosphorus in the third period. After the third period, there is the availability of D electron. So it can expand its octet and it can form 5 bonds. So for that, let us see that chlorine atomic number 17. So chlorine Lewis structure, 7 valence electrons. So for that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it needs one electron to complete its octet. So that one electron, it tries to make a bond with phosphorus. So one chlorine and then here another chlorine atom. Then here third chlorine. Then fourth chlorine then fifth chlorine so in pcl5 molecule we have that five bond pairs here n represent bond pair electrons if n is equal to 2 linear n is equal to 3 the geometry is trigonal planar n is equal to 4 then it is tetrahedral n is equal to 5 it is trigonal bipyramidal since there are five bond pairs then the geometry in pcl5 molecule is trigonal bipyramidal here you see these bond pairs they repel each other due to negatively charged electrons. So they try to maximize their distance and they get the molecular geometry trigonal bipyramidal bonds. So one PCL, then after that another PCL, then so the bond angle is 120 degree. We have two more bond pair electrons. So they take that axial position and form axial bonds with a bond angle of 90 degree so if we connect all the bonds you will get the triconal then by pyramidal hence in pcl5 molecule three of the bond pairs lie in the same plane at an angle of 120 degree and two bond pairs lie at right angle to each other that means 90 degree Thanks for watching.